What's in my diaper bag? Hey guys, I'm here to do what's in my diaper bag. Hey guys, I'm here to do an updated what's in my diaper bag because Mackenzie is now six months, so we're starting to carry different things for her. So I figured I'd do a new what's in my diaper bag. And as you know, if you watch our vlogs, I'm on the hunt for a new diaper bag. So if you have any ideas on the backpack style, let me know because um, with three little ones, I like the backpack option. So here's my GGB BFF in the First Lady print and I will go ahead and get started. Okay, so I went ahead and panned y'all down so y'all could see and I want to do it like y'all are facing the bag if that makes sense, not y'all being from the back. So I'm going to go ahead and get started um, on this side. There, I don't know if y'all have seen my first one. I'll link it down below if I remember. If not, y'all remind me. Or It was when Mackenzie was six weeks. She was about two months. So um, on this side, it is way different now how I have it set up. So on this side, I have the mommy hook, which is like all chewed up from um, having it, but... I have that for when we go shopping like at the mall for bags. I have my hand sanitizer in there. I don't have it clipped on just because Maddie likes to get a hold of it. Maddie is my two-year-old. I have these stroller hooks, my Timmy and Leslie ones, just because I'm not going to buy some more one. I'm not going to buy Jujube ones just because I have these. Like I'm going to use what I have. And that's all I have in here. On the other side, I have a bottled water, and that's it. And I have the Passy Pod. I think this is the Dutch's print, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and in here, I just have quite. I have this Passy. She doesn't really take Passies only when she's like extremely tired. She'll take them. I have this one with this. Um, Passy clip. It is a itsy ritzy passy clip. And that's all I have in there. Um, moving on to the back, I do have the backpack straps on. <clears throat> so moving on back here, I do have the changing pad, which is really, it's not that big. Like if you can see, it's not that big, but. I like it. I mean, there's people who complain about it, but I like it. I have a pack of stickers for the two older girls. I have these twistable crayons um, for when we go to the restaurants and stuff. I have a play pack grab and go. I have a Doc McStuffins coloring book and activity book. And at the very bottom, I just have a grocery bag, um, just in case, like, I have any messes, which I have not used that. And I didn't mention that this bag has these pockets right here, or like, opening, so if things do get nasty and messy in there, um, it opens up. Moving on to the front, the mommy pocket, which is pretty full. Can y'all see that? Like, I just open it and it has crap, like, falling out. But I have my Paul Mitchell little brush. And it has a mirror on it also. I have some Kleenex. I have some wet ones. The wipes. I have a clip. I don't have anything attached to the key fob. Um, I don't have anything. I don't have anything in this pocket either. But in this sunglass holder, I have a, a lotion, which is Mango Tango Twist from Bath and Body Works. Smells really good. I have a pepper spray. Uh, moving on to this pocket. This little bag, if y'all remember from my Timmy and Leslie, it has basically just lip products. Like, if I don't put on a lipstick, I have plenty to choose from.
and I have another mirror in here. The lipsticks, I just have two NYX Butter Glosses, a e.l.f. This one I actually found at the dollar store, and I like it a lot. Um, and I don't want to use it all up because I can't find it anymore. Pink Truffle, my favorite. Um, Revlon, I don't know what these are called. These are called Color Burst Lip Butters. A Revlon, is it Revlon? Yep, Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain, Adore. And y'all ignore my nails. I know they're horrible. And I don't have my ring on just because I just got back from uh, walking. So I'm trying to get this done. And this pocket, I'm not going to take them out. But it's basically just feminine products. There's a pad in there and I think like two or three tampons. So that's it. That's all that is in my mommy pocket. I also do carry my wallet separately because... Um, I just it doesn't fit in here that's another reason I'm looking for a new diaper bag this little pocket um, I usually don't carry anything in it I don't know what's in here oh we just went to um, a thing called market days here in town where they sell crafts and that's from there oh and this cross my great-grandma gave me I need to put it in the car I've been that's why it's in here I need to put it in the car um, and I usually just throw my phone in this pocket just and I don't even zip it, but it will it does fit I have the iPhone 6s plus and I just Dip it in there and it does zip so Fits perfectly and I now moving on to the inside So it does go all the way down which I like um Sorry if you can hear the girls and you just open it like this and I have it jam-packed of course um, starting here I just have those samples still uh, less samples I'm starting to run out because I've been using them but let's go ahead and get started okay getting started in here I have a I don't know what these are called I feel like everybody who has a GGB knows what these are called and I if I think about it I'll annotate it but um, basically I just have wipes and diapers in here and random Lowe's paint color that's not supposed to be in there <laughs> but that's that and this is the duchess print also and I just have a little key fob on here that says banda and I think it says proud marine family on it too yeah but that's in there and if anything if I don't want to take this whole diaper bag and I know we're just going to the car wash or something I'll just take this so yeah as y'all can see that's what it looks like when it's open I have this just rolled up a swaddle blanket but I use it for everything like you can use this for everything um I have the very hungry caterpillar little fabric book for Mackenzie I mean the girls can play with it too um, I like it because it has a mirror also in the main compartment I have these two uh, blocks they are the Tegu they are really cool I, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it Tegu or Tegu but I'm gonna open this one because this is the easier one but basically they're just blocks if you follow me on snapchat um, you've seen the girls play with these like at restaurants you've seen Jacob play with them at the restaurants they are blocks and they're magnetic so pretty cool concept and they came with this carrying case also. I bought both of these off of Amazon. Um, if y'all want, I can link them down below. They were fairly cheap, but we carry those. I carry this usually with formula in it, but it has no formula in it right now. Um, it also has two, like, a pocket here and a pocket here. But I've noticed if you have something on the outside, like if I have my water bottle here, it's really hard to use this compartment. So I don't really do that. Um, this pocket here has a teether, a Zoli teether, which Mackenzie usually gags on these, but she does like them every now and then. I have a spoon, which is also like, can y'all see that texture? Which she can also use for teething, but um, we have introduced uh, baby food and regular table food the munch mitt which if y'all don't know what it looks like 
it basically looks like this. You put it on their hand and it's for teething and she loves this thing. Uh, she absolutely loves this, which is really good. Uh, I also have in here another teether, which is from Glitter and Spice, and it is a cupcake. I just carry it in the munch mitt case. And also in that pocket is a like a little security blanket. I bought it locally here. Still on the look for a cute one. Um, I usually just go to that store and see if they have any cute ones, but this is what we have now, and she loves it. It's like a taggy. And this, this other one right next to it is, let's see, I don't even know what we have in there. Um, a washcloth, a bib, which is green sprout. These are really good. They're muslin. And she can wear that for a while and it soaks up her saliva. I have this burp cloth that um, is also a bib. It hooks on here. It's, sorry if y'all heard that. It was a motorcycle going by. It hooks on and it can also um, be a bib. It is Aiden and an eye. And that's all we have in those two pockets. So this back pocket, there's a zipper. Y'all can see right here. Um, I have it unzipped, which basically just has, I'm trying to pull it out. It's kind of hard to pull them out because these, these are tiny. Okay. I have this, uh, I have stickers in here and ba band-aids and moisturizer basically just like a med kit type i have the boogie wipes in that and it is a full package a 30 wipes but i mean we've used it a couple of times but still and that's it and the other zipper on this side I have her extra clothes, which I think I need to, yeah, these are three to six months and she is now in six to nine months, so I have to replace these, but I just carry two onesies, some socks, and that's it. <clears throat> so I flipped, I flipped around the diaper bag, so this is facing me now. And there is a zipper here, and in there I just carry basically stuff to eat out. Um, these are disposable bibs. Then I have the table toppers. I only have a few in here. And then I also have these that I won a giveaway from Josette's channel. These are also the same thing. They're just table toppers. They have different characters on them. Or not characters, but different animals. They are a different brand also. If I, I'll annotate it here. And then I have a Snack Happens Mini and Itsy Ritzy with uh, cupcakes print. It's just a reusable snack. And that's all. So I'm going to go ahead and pack it back up. This is the Juvie Boo bottle. I will just stick it on the side. It does fit. I guess I'll show you guys so y'all can see. The, the glass ones are kind of hard to put in just because of silicone. So if I'm in a hurry, I just throw it in the bag. But it does fit there on the side. Like so. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. I would like you to join our family, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, um, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys later. Bye.